Hello everybody, and thanks for joining me back on the bank chasing shadows. Well, today I'm back down in Dorset, back on Throop. And uh, to be honest, after that last session I had on here, uh, that first time I tried my hand at a bit of float fishing, I just couldn't wait. I've been itching to get back down here. So it's probably about two weeks after then. And uh, river's looking really nice. Uh, it's been in flood, it's sort of fining down a bit now. There's a bit of color. Uh, a bit of pace uh, yeah it's looking really nice actually so um yeah so first of all i'd like to say thank you very much for all the people that gave me all the advice on the last video of float fishing as i said i'm no expert at float fishing it's a new venture for me but uh, i really appreciate all the uh, advice and that's what i'm going to do today that's what i've been itching to get back down here is to put all that great advice that you've been giving me back into uh see if we can catch ourselves some good chub well last time what was it five five was the best chub i had out of the day and we had some bits and pieces so i was really happy with that yeah i did get it a little bit wrong uh, not too far i don't think bottom end the hook length was a little bit sort of um light really and i think my floating pattern uh, was quite wrong <laughs> uh, as a few people pointed out to me which i really appreciated it so like i say i've got down here today slightly changed the kit i'm going to use today uh so i've got the same rod that uh, what is it? It's that uh, Gray's Prodigy specimen float rod, 12 foot. It's still a little bit short, but uh, I'm looking at uh, buying myself a 14 foot rod for the future. Big changes. Uh, got the good old Young's centre pin. Uh, I've loaded that up with four pound line, and, um, and what I've also done is um, I've shot and patterns, <laughs> which I got really completely wrong. Uh, I've bulked it right up now with that sort of chubber style bolster float. So I've, I've bulked that right up the top end, little dropper shot there. Pretty well left that right down to where that little swivel is. As I said, there's a size 20 swivel there. That just stops the maggot spinning around and putting line twist in your line. So, um, and then I've got myself a very, very small, uh, I think that's about uh, an 18 hook there. And that's on, that's on four pound line. So it is quite beefy. Uh, which that's really where I went wrong last time. I had a two pound, three pound bottom, so it is slightly beefed up now because there are some big chub in here. So, uh, right, gonna same old tactics. Uh, got five pints of maggots. I'm gonna go from swim to swim, bait each swim up, giving it about, well, I don't know, sort of half an hour, 20 minutes each swim. Keep chucking in loads of bait, see if I can get some chub interested, and I'm gonna trot this float down. So, um, really been looking forward to this. So, uh, I'm going to get on and see if we can uh, catch ourselves some chub for today. All day on here from swim to swim and we finally got one. <laughs> That's a nice fish. Can't do a lot with him when he's coming. Right. 
Not a bad job. Because uh, you know, I've had to really work at that today. If I'm honest. Right. Uh, let me get myself sorted, and I'll show you in a bit of detail. Oh wow! It's been a tough day at the office. Um, I've struggled all day today, if I'm honest. Oh, but I tell you what, this ain't a bad fish. Uh, he's uh, probably about hmm, definitely four. I don't think I'm in a way, it's oh, lively. Hooks <laughs> doing uh, uh, They're really deep fish. Uh, there you go, he's definitely a four. Let's oh, clear some of the rubbish off of him. There you go. River Stour, deep bellied chub. Caught on a size 18, double maggot. You can still see the maggots in his shops at the moment so, uh, yeah tough old day today um, well I've been fishing four or five hours and I've had a few small roach and bits and pieces but uh, yeah I'm quite made up with this this is uh, quite nice and uh, like I say we've got about an hour now of light so hopefully we might be able to catch a few more of these you never know so right, let's get this hook out of him and uh, I'm gonna put him back up there up a bit further up not to spook the swim. Lovely chubby. <laughs> well, that wasn't a bad little chub, was it? Um, four and a half, maybe getting top end of five if I'm lucky. Um, Please have that, like I say, I struggled today. Swim to swim. Uh, I must have travelled about four or five miles as well, so uh, pleased to get that. On the pin today, uh, whether I like it or not, I don't know, jury's still out. Um, it's nice, the control's nice, but I just haven't got the cast. I've just not got the technique and I'm struggling a little bit. So, uh, oh, jury's out with that. So, uh, but anyway, that's a nice fish. I enjoy catching that. And uh, we still got probably about another half hour of light uh, once I can fish on the float. So let's see if uh, I can catch another one before it's uh, time to call it a day. <laughs> Right, so uh, as you can see, it's got that time of the day again. It's uh, pretty dark now, uh, hard to see the float. I absolutely hate it when I do this sort of float fishing because, you know, this is uh, my prime time now, really, when I'm sort of feeder fishing, going into dusk. Um, but like I say, it is very, very hard to see the float, present the bait as best I would like to, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, today was about sort of getting out, just trying a few things that a few people had advised me on the um, YouTube site and uh, put those into place it's been a really really tough day I, I, to be honest i don't think i fished very well today um trod on my float snapped that went to change the float then realized that i'd left the floats in the van so i had to walk about two miles three miles back to the van uh, and then to be honest i walked and changed sort of venue went up the top end um still anyway managed to wingle that one fish out um sent a pin i don't know i don't know whether it's for me um I'll give it another go. Uh, I, I'm not brilliant at casting with it, if I'm honest. Uh, I might have to go back to the fixed ball um, and we'll see how it goes. So, uh, yeah, right. So, like I say, it was only a quick update today. Uh, so, um, hope you liked it. Um, if you did, please subscribe. Uh, please like. Um, do the little tip thing and then you'll get the updates of my new videos. And, uh, right, nothing more for me to say. But uh, I'll catch you soon. You staying here? Well, I'm going home. I'll catch you later. <laughs>